Y'all bitches ain't ever even met Benjamin Franklin. Hi, Jasper. Jasper, should I make it rain on you? Oh, sorry. Hey, what's up, bitches? Just chilling. What about you? Am I rice gum? Yeah. Yes. Oh no, one went down there? Mm. No. No, that's like a whole hundred of them. Yeah. You got them racks? Mm -hmm. You got them stacks? Okay. Hey, this video coming up is um, Stephen protecting my leg from the rain because my leg wasn't under the umbrella, so he made his hand an umbrella. What did we do to deserve this boy? So I was afraid that if I vlogged it, it wouldn't happen and something would fall through. But we got a van and then I was afraid <laughs> that after we got the van, if I vlogged it, I was going to crash it immediately. Uh, because I, I don't know, I just am really always afraid of jinxing myself. But it's the next day, my van is safe at home in one place, our van, it's me and Steven's van. It is also our new home. I'll show you the inside. So here's the inside right now. Um, it's kind of blurry right now. We're gonna make it cute though. We got a sink hooked up to this coal again. We got running water in this bitch. This bed slides out. We're gonna make it longer. Um, and then you can make it go back in so we have walking space. Oh my gosh, I'm so freaking excited, dude. So the whole reason kind of Steve and I got this van was like to travel, but the reason for me is because I wanted to go on tour and um, just sing everywhere. And I was really stressed about affording like a bunch of equipment and shit, like speakers, mic stands, mics, all that shit. My grandpa just put together like a bunch of shit for me, speakers, mic stands, extension cords, fucking monitors, everything I need. And I'm just bawling because <laughs> I'm so happy. Hey guys, me here with hey, Andrew's too. Got his wisdom teeth out. Here that it is. is. What do you think about yeah. it? <laughs> Andrew. Let me know in the comments. Rate this tooth from one to ten. That is fucking disgusting. Oh, you got one too. Uh. Josh, rate the tooth Here's from one to ten. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, oh, just rate it on tooth. Mm -hmm. How it's how tooth is this tooth? His one tooth to is fucking gross. That's Wait, what it that's is. That's only half of a tooth, though. And the other half's an end. That's half of it. Jeez, you got a big guys. Jesus okay? fucking Christ. No. Why? That's gross. That is okay. Gross, Andrew. You wanna try? I'm good, thank you. Alright. Here we go, Andrew. I wanna try this one. Okay. I wanna try <laughs> this one. <laughs> See, I tried. I tried to put it in your mouth. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's try it both. <laughs> Steven, you're so convincing. You just told him not to. What the fuck? Do you see it just like dry blood in there? Yeah, that's what I want. This is fucking AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> I want a sample. <laughs> <laughs> I want a sample of me. I want a sample of me. Oh my gosh, he's gonna put it in his voodoo doll. If I fucking laid it in? No. I would inject it into myself. And then I would be Andrew and Josh. Just I'm save it for later. I'm trying to the pieces, dude. Just what save it for I later. <laughs> So if you know anything about me, you know I have way too much trust in humanity. Someone could be stabbing me and I would be like, I'm so sorry, what is pushing you to do this? Can I help you in some way? I will not, I do not think anybody is a bad guy and I'm so freaking naive. I could get held at gunpoint and robbed and I'd probably still not think I'm being robbed. So if you think in the story I am overreacting, I'm sorry but I'm not, and if you were there, you would understand. So, with that being said, I'm at the gas station, and I'm trying to buy Swishers for these miners, and <laughs> I'm just trying to do my good deed of the day by, by buying Swishers for miners, and so I uh, sat my phone down and my money that I was using to buy them because, um, so I walk up and I'm like, hey, can I get some Swishers? And she was like, what kind do you want? And I 
guys like what kind you got and she kind of moves over like a foot or two to show me where the swishers are so I move over a foot or two so I can get a better look at them and I had left my phone and my money on the counter not thinking I was that far away from it so I wasn't really that worried about leaving it there I wasn't like walking to the other side of the gas station or anything then I pick out the ones I want and then I go to pay her and my money and this guy who was behind me is now in the spot that I was in and he had sat his kit to cat and his money down on top of all my stuff and so he's like oh sorry and grabs his stuff as well as my stuff I like look at him and I'm like can I have my five dollars and He's like, what? And I look at his hands and I see him holding my money that was just on the counter. And I'm like, can I have my money? That's my money that you're holding. And he's like, oh, I, I thought this was hers. And then points at no one. We are alone in this gas station. And he just goes, I thought it was hers. And points at no one. There's no one in this gas station but me, him, and the cashier. Who did he think it was? If he had somebody in the parking lot, I guess that would make sense. But why would her things be in the gas station if she was in the parking lot? I never saw anybody go in with him. I wasn't paying a bunch of attention. And I'm usually pretty narcissistic, so I'm only paying attention to myself. But why? Why? why, why Still, it just doesn't make sense. So, I get my money and I start paying her. And then he's like, oh, is this your phone? And then hands me my phone. I didn't even notice he took my phone. I thought my phone was in my purse this whole time, but I must have left it on the counter with the other stuff. And part of me wants to give him the benefit of the doubt because then he gave my phone back. But the other part of me goes, no. He just gave it back because he realized you would notice it was gone and know it was him who took it. And, of course, my naive brain wants to think, oh, give him a shot. He just grabbed your things because he thought they were somebody else's that he knew. There was probably nobody with him. There was probably no her. I was probably the only her in the... Me and the cashier were probably the only hers in the gas station. But, you know what? I learned a very important lesson when I was little from Dora, which is when someone steals from you, you say swipe or no swiping. So, he stole from me. I said... Can I have my things back? And then he gave them back. So thank you, Dora, for teaching me that lesson um, and also teaching me minimal Spanish. I know I'm not going crazy. Like, I know it was weird because then the cashier was looking at me like, what is going on? And then I looked at her like, what is going on? And then she gave me a more intense, what is going on look. So I know it was weird. And uh, if you were there, I think you would think it was weird too. And maybe you're hearing this and you also think it was weird. But uh, please don't say that I'm assuming the worst out of people. Because that's the last thing I do. I think I really was about to get robbed. So please let me say I was about to get robbed. Um, that being said, door swipe or no swiping act, it's not bullshit. If you get robbed, just say swipe or no swiping. And you will probably get your things back is what I learned today. Um, communication is key. Let people know that you don't want to be robbed and then you won't be robbed. Uh, thanks, that's the lesson of the day. I am bawling, and Steven leaves me to go drinking with his friends, so then I go ball about that to my mom, and she yells at me for using her Netflix, so I just don't know who to ball to now, except for my camera, because it can't fucking betray me. Yeah, what are we doing? We're going skinny dipping. And it's closed after dark, so hopefully no coppers come see us. Oh. We ran, not even that far, but we're really out of breath. But we're to the water. We naked out here. We naked out here, part two. Yep. One, two, three, go. Oh, it's not even that cold. That's kind of sad. Not as cold as expecting. Yeah, I was expecting it like way colder. But I guess the sun like warms it up all day. Update, knee deep, bitch. I keep thinking I get, I don't know, like, almost shoulder. You're a pussy. I'm sorry. I'm so far from you. Whatever, let's go. Okay, time to get clothed. So, oh, titties popping out. So, update, last night, um, we ended up having to run out of the reservoir because there was headlights coming in and cops patrol right there. Um, so I was pretty sure it was probably cops because I don't know who else would be going through there. And so, um, 
started running and hurt my knee really bad. Also, I didn't bring shoes, so Steven gave me his Crocs, and they were way too big, so I was like running really fast and way too big crocs and i hurt my knee and it's still hurting so hurt my knee running from the law one like equals one fuck the police